Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer and Son. Who's got a flashy little deluxe at the bottom there? Well, there, press L now. Uh, for recording purposes, I am playing with my Pro Controller to see what this demo has to offer that Pikmin 3 didn't have to offer on the Wii U. Let's have a look. Press L now to start. Um, recommended that I do the stories in Nintendo eShop, yes, to take me straight through missions. Oh, there's a bingo battle. Will it be available in the full version, so bingo battle's not there. Side story, obviously, will be for an mission. There's a mission. If if playing first time is good to start with story, we will start with the story. I'm not going to go there, but there's mi some mission modes there. I do want to see the options, though. Basic information control guide, that's what I want to see. No, 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 no. Um, lock on is ZRR is to select to throw your pick or to select to throw Pikmin crew. Okay, you change between each crew. Select. Oh my God! I'll learn it as I go along. A is throw, B is blow, whistle, R is look around. Blah, blah, blah. How do I change though to? Our two players can play a single or a single. Ah, here we are. Gyro on, please. Cursor control, pointer. I do not want to move the cursor with the thing, right? Gyro UD, and available when cursor is set to pointer control. What's that? What? It's the cursor controller while it's pointer, right? Well, you could turn the gyro on and then change it to cursor control pointer. That is weird. Uh, more just point of view, normal, left, right, uh, right, let's try with the gyro controls on badges. Ooh, there's lots of uh, legendary archaeologists. Game leader, lots of uh, achievements to be getting. Let's go on to the story mod. How many players? One or two? I can even play the. Oh, I might have to play through this with Morgan as well for a second video up. Let's play one. This is going to take me through right through the beginning of the game, hopefully. Uh, normal. Ultra spicy. Spicy. Galactic date, 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. Oh dear. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Fruit? <laughs> Just Ooh, as they're gone. about to give up. Far. The final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Charlie, Brittany, and Alf. At last, the Engage walk speed, Mr. Solo. I got it. Your voyage nears its end. As they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. It's a raining people. Day one, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's crash site. Cool. Ugh. What happened? Hi, Charlie. Who knows the way? Where am I? The last thing I remember was... When? About now. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. 
Charlie the ship, Charlie the ship, do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship, my crew? Oh my god, man. I'm a doctor, not a medical lawyer. I managed to escape on the scale, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I gotta find Alf and Brittany. I hope they survived. Move with the L stick. Thank you for that. Oh. If you get stuck in the story mode, press up to view a strategy hint. You can hide them by going into more on the display, blah, blah, blah. And press plus to open options to give the basic information of other settings and change controls to your liking. Thank you very much. Right then. I can move with L. Alf is moving incredibly intuitively. There's nothing to move the camera around yet. Huh? What in the... Oh, I can't get them yet, can I? There are more of them. So strange. Oh, I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? Ah, oh, but... Alright, the gyro controls are pretty... pretty nice. I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. The beers were so astral. They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them, pressing B, and throw them with A. Press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over and hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Take aim with the cursor, then press A to throw. Right, I'm gonna go... Ah, I really can't move the camera. I couldn't remember those are kind of... Uh, that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, too. Right, now I got my 20 yellow Pikmin squad. Now that gyro has gone a little wonky already. How do I recalibrate the gyro? <clears throat> Bingo battle options. No, I just want to recalibrate the control. Look, my control is I'm holding it straight now and it's going up to the left a bit. Ah! I can move the camera with the R stick as well, which I didn't know. So there's a, is a slight movement. It's not intuitive, it does kind of flick between. That's okay. I do like the throwing button on ZR. It'll take a uh, ZR would have been good for the whistle as well. I can't remember these arrows being here before, and I can't remember there being a glass section here. cursor around as well. Look, so now my cursor's straight. Right, I'm holding my pro controller straight and it's still got, it hasn't gone further but it does feel a little strange that it's not calibrating to the top of the TV. Mm -hmm. Ah, is this where Alf gets a kicking? Spoiler alert. They're still following me.
sure those arrows weren't there before. Deserters. Expiration day one. 8.46 a.m. Elfs or Alphas. Elf class I. If the miracle on the land somehow in hand. Just as yes, as Drake was bad, Lamy last throwed at me, me and his idiot. Due to chaos, I've separated my two team members as well as my ship itself. As a ship's engineer, it's up to me, Al, to find both the yes, as Drake, Drake, and my crew members. Oh no, Alf, let's go. Um, I've already heard Pikmin. There he is. Where was that? I'm gonna get a better voice, Ralph. See, once you drop down, you can't get back up. Too high, I can't get back that way. Hey, you see him? It's a creature I saw just now. Looks like a friend's. Yeah, what's that stuck in that branch? Oh, I can lock on. Like the Zed I was hoping that was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nonetheless, the red fellow seemed quite pleased that now it's written. Oh, wait a minute. I suppose we'll be looking at what was a tomb missing. Face forward to ZL, ZL and look around with R. Yeah, R won't work if you joy can't sail sideways. What was that? So I press ZL. Uh, I suppose that uh, it's a ZL will kind of recalibrate my. Right, okay. Right then. Now that's gone really wonky. Now I'm holding it straight. And look at that, I'm holding it straight. Uh, I suppose. How do I get over there then? Come around. Driving, but I gotta really turn it. I'm already turning it at about 20 degrees to get it straight there. Nah, it's not oh, nice. Good. It's wet. Not good. What are they? What are they doing? And yeah, what are you doing? Lazy. fruit or anything yet to make new Pikmin. Okay. And now the reticule is completely completely over there. So I'm pressing ZL. How do you can't recalibrate? R? Oh, R is recalibration. Okay. That went really wonky though. That's a worry. R is recalibrated. And yes, the Pikmin will always go back to the point even though they finish their task. Let's get those Pikmin to follow me then.
Hey, it's a gamepad. Oh, I don't have a gamepad. Macopad. Is it located? Yes, it's correct. Does that look different as it was in the... No, it doesn't. Hey, got my first map. Great, it looks like. It works, so tell us I expect anything less from the cup I take. Copy T. Now check my surroundings by scrolling through the cup ad screen. Here's how to check the surroundings. Is it the Rekka? Ah, yes, it's the Rekka. Isn't that far from here? Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. Maybe I'm guessing in that direction. Now we can start exploring with the help of the cop pad. Use a radar to check the map and a camera to take photos. Ah, yes, there's a camera. So if I wanted, for example, to take a minus... I got the ZR and ZR, activate the camera. Oh no, Pikmin. If I lock on, ah yes, I have to three for that one. Is there an enemy already? Yes, we'll come back with that with a few more Pikmin. As the Pikmin collect extra fruits and uh, nectar, I suppose that is, of the flower, more Pikmin are born. Help me in battle. Dang Papa now, some cell sprouts. I'm gonna go and press yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Pikmin. Oh, I see. So this is where those little creatures come from. What a strange little thing. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin sprouts and press B to cancel. Oh, you only have to press A once and then he automatically goes and gets them all. Uh -huh. Let's carry on. I need 20 Pikmin to push this out of the way, so that's obviously blocking my progress. This this recalibration is requiring a lot of recalibration. Ah yes, the Pikmin will also take the deceased carcasses of enemies and use those for food as well. Do I have five? Yes, get back to that one. I should make a note of when drug recalibrating already. Oof. And by the end of this, I should imagine I'll have 20 Pikmin. And if you want things to go quicker, you can get more Pikmin on there, and they will carry quicker. Oh no, go, 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 go. Squads team. And as that was a dead end, I'm going to use my 21. Apparently, you can lock on and then press X to charge. Hui ha! Hui ha! Thank you, Pikmin. What's that? What's that? It looks like some level of data file here. Perhaps the code will be able to read it. Pikminology number one. The onion is a nest for the Pikmin. It gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent, the copper can make the dead files. So these creatures got Pikmin. The information might be handled later on. I'll save on the copper as exploration notes. Thank 
Captain Cherry. And also, Captain Cherry wrote this data file. Okay, did we other intelligent life bombs on this planet? One to twenty-one. Uh -huh. Using the radar number two. Check the radar's orientation in the change certain menu. Right, okay, I will. Uh, check. Yeah. What about it? Can I change the orientation? I can zoom in and zoom out though. So I'm now passing into and through this tunnel. Yes. It's a big old map. Wow, those are massive. They don't look edible. I'm just gonna bust everything down. More signs of intelligent life. Now, if you could turn, press X to perform a charge attack. You want all those kicking and tapping your doors? We're not having this kind of teamwork. I hope the Drake is okay. There it is! The yes, SS Drake! Uncle Pat isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? I'm an engineer, not a doctor! Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Elf! It's me, Brittany! Do you copy? Thank goodness! You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm star. Oh no, we gotta cut off. I wonder how far Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. And the game is looking as uh, delightful as I remember it. Very beautiful. And here comes the Indian. Most of the supplies were able to be destroyed in crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Mm. Two more days of edible provisions left. Starting tomorrow, mm -hmm. I have to find some local food. And you can review the replay. This this is quite nice with that. Shows you how you moved on the map. Uh, where do I go to play? Fast time. The whole day. What I did, what I did, what I did. Blah, blah, blah. Where you pick me and die. Let's go on to next. Shipwreck on this planet. 
Some creatures call Pikmin and help me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany. I will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Exploration Day 2. I'm surprised the demo goes into Exploration Day 2. Let's see how far it does go. Searching for signals. Garden of Hope. I've tracked down Brittany's signal right now. Finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to the co pilot. That would be very, very bad. So I can choose an earlier day, which I did, and replay it. So I'll land on day two. Where's Brittany? Juice left? Two. Brittany should be around here somewhere. I'm running out of food, so I better find her before it's too late. Looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? Yeah, I'll have all my Pikmin, thank you. 21 to Pikmin! Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all this. The onion is Pikmin's nest. I'm going to install an application on the copy that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. Oh, that's now a glass wall, which um, we won't be able to get it. Hold off. Off. Charging! Press and release X to charge with the current selected pigment. Um, if I did want to go in the water, the Pikmin can't. Oh no, water is lethal, Pikmin. I need to blow the whistle with B to call the Pikmin back on the land. Don't kill any of my Pikmin yet. Dirty Pikmin. Okay, let's charge our wall. Yeah, like I said, that's a glass wall, and you're gonna need rock Pikmin to get through there at some other later point. Charge. Hey, what about you? Easy. Yeah. Standing there doing nothing, little lazy Pikmin. Watching all the other Pikmin doing the hard work. Always one, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot ne Pikmin can drink nectar to make them stronger. A flower bloomed on Pikmin's head. Yeah, I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them.
As they go, uh, they get faster. They grow from leaf to bud to flower. Once Pikmin are done transporting, they return to the original location of the fragments. Yes, they will. Wasn't this something? No, uh, nothing up here. So what I want to make sure now is that. That bridge should be done now. There it is. Everything's over there is done. Let's move on here. Oh, it's a lovely sleeping bulb lord. Shh, sleep I think we can sneak up on it. Yes, I'm gonna sneak up and then charge from behind. Get the advantage from behind. Here we go. So that's an electrified fence. I don't wanna get that yet. So I can lock on him and then press X for charge. Ooh. Have some of that. And then uh, maximum number of Pikmin there will carry his corpse away. When, uh, when the going gets rough, retreat in the hiding place and wait for an opportunity. Um, and I can collect. And some more Pikmin to bash an next wall down. Forty-six Pikmin now. This wall I can lock on and charge. Make sure they're all with me. Um, quite linear at the moment, even though it looks kind of open world. There's Brittany. <laughs> oh no, Brittany's just lying there. I hope it's not too late. Pick up Brittany, pick up. Please still be alive. Alf, sorry about that. I was just taking a nap. So you close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, you know me, I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go check it out for me? Come on, boys. Oh, yes, there's definitely a strawberry. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this really is a fruit, then it's a major discovery. I like to analyze it at the tree, but how can I move it? You've got things called Pikmin, Alf. And yes, Brittany's on the other side of this wall. Let's watch him take it back. Hey, sure, hey, sure, hey, sure. Now the fruit goes back to the drake, not to the onion. Thank you, big man, they know. And we see a beautiful render of a 3D piece of fruit. Ah, oh, the drake is sending us a message. There it is, analyzing. And I can turn it around and look at this beautiful strawberry from all angles. But it's called a sunseed berry, which I turn automatically into juice. One tub of it. Large quantities of pick -a you detected. Pick-a-min-you 
This is a sea bearing fruit, making cultivation on cockeye possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. I'll add fruit file to the cockeye so we can store the results of our analysis. Now the cock pot's complete. Uh, since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is the botanist, after all. Come on, Pikmin, let's get back to it. Hey, I gotta unlock the a mission mode there, bearing fruit. And so I can't... You can't smash that, sorry, little red Pikmin. Red Pikmin are good fighters. What is that thing? I don't know, it's this evil floating jellyfish type thing here. Yay, Rock Pikmin! Look at the shiny faceted surfaces. Are these creatures Pikmin too? They give me a funny look. Thought they want to break it. Yeah, that should do the trick. So, there are numerous trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L. Okay. And when I want to split them up by type, I use Y to dismiss the squad. Ugh. Remember that? Hey, instantly more. Rock Pikmin, a very hard rock like Pikmin. Now, when I get um, fruits of labor, I, I have to choose which onion I want to send them back to. Sprouts to be the same color as Pikmin Tree Cat. Yep, 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 yep. So let's try this salt and squads out. If I press Y. Smash this now with the rock pigment. Press L, see the bottom right corner, and you can swap between the rock pigment and the red pigment. Alright, Brittany should be. Yeah. Brittany. Brittany! 
the greedy explorer. Oh, I can tell how happy I'm out of this place. I'm fed of the sleeping rough and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They are called Pikmin and they are cute. But well, we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alf. Let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Okay. Throw me. Ah yes, I can choose between Pikmin and... And now I can throw the red Pikmin to her. And I'll take it from here. Press Y to select me if you'd be so kind. So I press Y now to switch leaders as well. And split into two squads, manage your workload and more effectively. Right, you press Y. Ah, it's not on the D. That looks like a D pad, you know? It's not on the D pad. You move this with your analog stick. There you go. Uh, on the cop pad's radar line with destination, as you go here, press A to start moving. There's, there's even a data file about this. Yeah, yeah, no, I even think about it as we go here function on the radar. We should try it out soon. Uh, multiple squads, I'm not gonna do multiple squads yet. Hang on. I can collect here. Yes, some nectar. Someone's ten carrying already. Right, there we go. I think now though I wanna How do I send these back home? Say it was the end of the day, I would do that to make sure they don't die at night time. Come on, Red Pikmin. Just gonna show you how to... I'm gonna go back to my Red Base. I want to show. Hello.
maybe I've been a bit too too early to call them back home. <sighs> you carry on smashing by that for a bit. next time. Let's go. Is that the onions will combine? Oh, he's done it. Nice one, pal. I read this picking up something. Is that Charlie? There's a signal coming from here. It must be the captain. I am the captain. Let's go there right away. Rock Pikmin. Aren't crushed when trampled on. And the fire, nice. And those are fire ones. Let's um, go and get my red Pikmin. On. Soon, a straight Pikmin will be nocturnal scrub food. Right, I gotta get my Pikmin back now. I better call back the Pikmin who are in my squad. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 
Um, she was struck in the bridge on the opposite shore. If I were to get with Brittany, yeah, yeah, in the, the, the bridge, yeah, the Brittany join squad. Move the cursor over here and cross by pressing B. Another one, move the cursor, lock over the target. Yes, 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 we all know that. Um, Stop spinning out seeds. Yeah, there are too many. Pikmin, the Pikmin inside the onion seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the number of Pikmin in the field reaches 100, and a new Pikmin will stay inside the onion. It means maximum number of 100 Pikmin can be active outside the onion at one time. I don't want to leave any Pikmin behind. Let's get going. Turn all my Pikmin into the onion. Ah, oh, Brittany will pluck as well. Pikmin in, please. Alright, now we gotta get back to where. Oh, it's not yet. No, it's not yet. It's uh, through here and then to the left, isn't it? No, it's not over there. It's up here. Oh, we better be quick. No, it's not over there either. Where is it? Oh, it's over the bridge. <gasps> Look at that sun. Are we gonna make it in time? I would say plenty of time, but it's not. Come on, Pikmin, run like your lives depend upon it. Any onion with you. Pikmin, uh. There you go. And it doesn't matter if I'm out in the field after 3, 2, 1. I can't remember. Surely not. There we go. That's another day done. If you kind of let Pikmin out, you will see the bulb lords uh, munching them up. I wonder what they did in the wild. Two onions can combine into one. Very handy. Let's analyze the other fruit too. Ooh, look at that lemon. When life your face wrinkler. Life gives you lemons. Make lemonade. One lemon. One and a half pots. I'll rush in out the food. Huh. So she's not American, she's English. I'll rush in out the food supply. I have to make do with slightly smaller portion. So I can have some more. Hmm. Good. There's still a plenty of juice left. A 
Hey, didn't lose a single Pikmin. So that was the end of day two. Surely it can't be going on to day three. Well, that is a heck of a demo. Back on board, we ran an analysis to the fruit root of tree and found it suitable for copperite, copperite, copperite consumption. It looks like it's plenty more where that came from. Reunited in the Britain, finding this fruit is still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Alf. And it's actually saved. That's a wonderful thing. Which means if it does carry on, I'm going to carry on in, a, in another video. So, thanks for watching the first part of the demo. We finally discovered Edible Matter, and I'm going to quit it here. And when I come in, hopefully, it will um, automatically come into this part. So, I'll just show you this part anyway. I'll cut it out next part. After close, after close analysis, my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious. We never tasted anything like that in Kopai. We need to continue our search if there is to be more. To be had, we should have it. Right, let's focus all our energy on mining and stripping this uh, world of its, all of its resources like we did ours. We still need the cosmic drive key, we can't get home without that. Right, let's focus all our energy on retrieving fruit and the key, and absolutely nothing else. The captain, we still need to find the captain as well. Right, so we just have to get food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's Captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. My god, how dare he hog the fruit for himself. So thank you for watching the first part of the demo. I'll get back in another part very shortly. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.